Hi there guys, my name is Aaron and you can learn making create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit this portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, I'm going to open these raw files in Adobe Camera Raw. And as you can see, we have a bunch of raw files and shout out to the Victor Baz, a friend of mine who is providing us with these amazing raw files. So as you can see, we have a bunch of amazing uh, portraits, but uh, I think that I'm going to choose this one. So here are some settings that I did into this portrait. I just played with the exposure, contrast, highlights and shadows. And here's a before and after. So I'm just going to click here on the open. Wait until this arrow file is open in Adobe Photoshop. So first thing first, what we're going to do into this uh, portrait is that we need to load the actions. So after we have downloaded the retouching actions, we click here on the actions and here we have a bunch of them. So before we dive into today's video tutorial, please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find this amazing raw file and the retouching actions that I'm going to use in this video tutorial. So I think that I'm gonna go with the Makeup Artist Retouching Actions 2023. So first thing first, uh, the first step that I'm going to do into this portrait is clean. So I'm gonna click here on clean and click play, wait until it's done. So here we have uh, two layers. One of them is clean layer that says clean here and the other one is a black and white help layer. So I'm going to turn off that black and white help layer right now and I'm going to click here on the spot healing brush tool and zoom in where I want to start cleaning this portrait. So enough with the talking and let's just uh, get done with a clean. And I think that is looking okay. So here's before and after, and I think that we are good to go. So I'm gonna merge both of them layers, but before I merge, I'm gonna create another copy of the background and I'm gonna put this on top and rename SOOC, which is uh, straight out of camera file and lock it. So here's before and after, and I think that is okay. I'm gonna merge these layers into a single one and leave the black metal player. And after we are done with the clean, it's time for the dodge and burn. So I'm going to click play on dodge and burn. Turn on the black and white help layer because we might need that. And uh, open the group. So here we have the dodge. Zoom in where, uh, where you want to start dodging this portrait. And uh, for the opacity, I'm going to go by uh, 10% and flow by 45. And with a default uh, soft round general brush, I'm just going to dodge and burn this amazing portrait and I think that uh, flow by 45 is kind of too much so I'm gonna go by 22 now just like this now check it before and after which is kind of too much again so I'm gonna leave it by 8 and just paint where you want to dodge this uh, this amazing portrait and in case that you don't see uh, too many details of the portrait you can go click here on the black and white help layer and just add another black and white and switch from normal to luminosity just like this and I'm gonna slide them just like this to see more details into this portrait and as you can see I'm gonna uh, switch from uh, luminosity that is uh, the blending mode to normal again and here we have a before and after of the black and white help layer so we are going to see more details of this portrait and just keep dodge and burning again so check before and after every time So here's before and after with a dodge and burn. So here's before and after and I think that is looking okay. Now I'm going to click here on the burn and I'm going to zoom in where I want to uh, burn the portrait just a little more. 
because uh, some parts have too harsh highlights so we are going to reduce them with a burn now check a before and after and i think that is looking better just uh, we need to decrease the opacity of the dodge just a little and here we have the burn which is looking okay now i'm gonna burn uh sorry i'm gonna merge both of them into a single one again leave the black and white tail player for later because we might uh, need some dodge and burn too and now that we are done with dodge and burn go back to the actions and click here on the frequency uh, frequency separation uh, version 2 and just play it now here we have uh, the frequency separation folder the group sorry and the first thing first what we are going to do is that we need to work in the color first and after you're done with the color we need to work in the texture so in the color usually i work uh, with a mixer brush tool and the settings that i use usually into the portraits are wet by 10 percent load by 33 mix by 45 or 33 depends uh, and flow by 33 and i'm just gonna start here on the forehead so with a mixer brush usually i uh, mix the skin tone colors just like this sometimes uh, the harsh highlights and the harsh shadows you can soften them with a mixer brush so let's just zoom out and check a before and after and as you can see the colors are uh, mixing together just like this uh, make sure that you don't overdo this process because the portrait will look very flat which is uh, like with what we did here onto this part of the highlight but we are going to bring it back with just a small thing so let's just get uh, the chest and the neck part maybe hands just a little so let's just uh, mix the colors and it will look better now you can even uh, turn on the black and white help player to see what's going on here and as you can see we didn't even touch this part make sure that sample all layers is unchecked because if it's checked it will be a huge mess as you can see we have some color of the lips and we need to reduce that just a little so here's before and here's an after here's before and here's an after so as i said uh we remove some of the highlights into this portrait so i'm gonna double click here and the layer style will pop up and uh in the underlying layer section click alt keyboard and hold it and just click here and slide this into the left and you will see the magic of the highlights that will come back to life so here's before and here's an after so what we did is that the effect or uh, entire work of the mixer brush that we did the mixing skin tones and everywhere it's removed only from the highlights as you can see a before and after which is looking okay and now that you are done with the color or the low frequency it's time for the texture so in the texture section you are going to use the clone stamp tool with 100% opacity in 100% flow make sure that sample is current layer so everything that we do is gonna happen or copy paste only from this single layer that is texture the first one so i'm gonna zoom in with a clone sam tool hold alt keyboard and just click to copy and release it and after we, we release it just paint for paste so copy and paste copy hold alt keyboard and click to copy and just paste uh sorry hold uh again hold alt keyboard click and copy and just paint to paste so make sure that you copy paste as near as possible into the portrait for example if we copy the texture here and paste it here when we zoom in uh, we have a bad texture and it doesn't look good so make sure that you copy paste as near as possible into this portrait or every time that you are retouching because uh, the texture is that 
uh, what makes the portrait look more uh, crispy and uh, for example when you upload them in social media the post will look really good so zoom in and just work on uh, where you want to uh, fix that texture and for my opinion this portrait is looking okay so here's the before and after of the frequency uh, frequency separation what we did so here's before and here's an after which is looking okay now i'm gonna merge both of them into a single layer so right click and click here on merge layers go back to the actions and i think that right now it's time for the makeup details so i'm gonna zoom in here in the eyes and click here eyes retouch and just click continue click ok until it's done and here we have the group of the eyes retouch this one is to remove the veins but since we did it uh, earlier we don't need that right now the brightening is for the white of the eyes and just paint with 100% brush and 100% flow just paint it over there make sure to do this process in both of them zoom out just a little to check out before and after and as you can see the opacity by 100% is way too much so I think that I'm gonna go by 45 and 45 is okay now that we are done with that whites of the eyes is time for the eyeball brightening so again with 100% brush just paint inside them now zoom out check a before and after reduce the opacity if needed and click here on the iris contour and just make some nice contours around the eyes just like this now check a before and after and uh, I think that is okay so here we have the ice retouch which is looking uh, really good and I'm gonna merge both of them again so click here on the darker eyebrows and zoom in where you want to paint just like this so here we have some darker eyebrows in case we need that and we need to remove the color from the skin because we don't want that just like this you can even reduce it by half and check it before and after now merge again uh, and if you want to add some uh, darker uh, eyelashes just click play and uh, just uh, paint over there as you can see now check it before and after which is looking okay but uh, for my opinion is way too much so I think that I'm gonna go by 10% now check it before and after again so every time that we do something we merge layers now here we have the smoky eyes click play and just paint it over there uh, what this action does is that makes the uh, smoky eyes that look darker as you can see uh, I think that is okay for, but for my preferences I'm gonna lower this by uh, 20 maybe just like this and again merge the layers if you want to you can add some mascara and just play over there and as you can see the high lashes are turning really good and way too dark for my opinion so I'm going to reduce it by 75 and uh, I think that 35 is okay I'll check it before and after merge these layers into a single one again and uh, here we have the eyeshadows that says pick a color so for the eyeshadows that says pick a color usually I pick the lipstick color to match the portrait and just paint it over there so this one is uh, a really great tool for the makeup artist who really want to change the colors of the eyes makeup so here we have a before and after and as you can see 100% uh, is way too much so I think that I'm gonna go by 45 maybe or maybe 25 was enough now check a before and after and I think that is looking okay and again if you want to reduce the color uh, from highlights or the shadows you need to double click here and the layer style will pop up and here we have the underlying layer and just slide the highlights into the left and 
the color it will be removed only from the highlights so for example you can uh, even do this with a different color for example we have the red but you can turn this into the blue green depends on your preferences of the makeup color just like this but do this slightly because i'm gonna do this as fast as possible just to show you so here we have a before and after you have to reduce it because always 100% is too much as you can see it's looking really good but i'm gonna stick with a red color so i'm just gonna merge these two into a single one and here we have the eyeshadows pop i'm gonna zoom in and just paint it with 100% brush just like this Now zoom out, check a before and after, which is looking okay, but 100% is always way too much. So I think that 45 will be enough. Yeah, 45 is okay. Merge again. And if you want to darken the nostrils, in our case, it's not showing. The whitened teeth too. Uh, here we have the cheeks, just click play. And here we have the cherry cheeks. So we need to paint it over there just like this and i'm going to reduce it because i don't want them to look that much merge layers now it's time for the lipstick color so i'm just gonna click play and uh, i'm not going to change that today's lipstick because i think that is looking okay but in case that you want to you can just uh, click play on the lipstick color and just paint it over there and it will change the lipstick color but in uh, into this case as you can see we have a, a darker red color on the lipsticks and it's not going to do anything but for example if you don't have a lipstick color of your portrait then this one is really great so as you can see uh, before and after what we've done so far and i think that is looking okay i'm gonna make some changes with the liquify so i'm just gonna drag and drop this to the plus and click filter and click liquify so i'm going to uh, make some changes here on the lips and maybe just a little on the nose just like this you can even zoom out and maybe do some changes here on the head just a little because we don't much uh, we don't want too much changes so here's before and after as you can see on the lips we need to increase uh the upper lip just a little maybe now check a before and after and the let me just check a before and after real quick which is okay now click okay so here's before and after i'm gonna merge both of them i'm gonna zoom in here and as you can see we have uh, the lipstick that is not looking really good so i'm gonna create a selection here with a pen tool so just click and make the selection around this part where you want to paint the lipstick color just like this right click and click here on make selection and i think the radius one percent will be fine and with the clone stamp tool create another uh, empty layer and click here that says current layer to all layers so we need to copy and paste from the background to the layer one just like this and as you can see when you copy paste from the highlight part as you can see it will be like too much but we are going to fix this later so i'm gonna zoom in here here we have a before and after you can reduce uh, the opacity uh, of this layer which is looking okay I'm gonna merge both of them into a single layer and I'm gonna click here on the actions and play the frequency separation because I'm going to fix this with the frequency separation method so I'm gonna click here on the path which we have created before and click the selection and here we have the color inside the frequency separation so with a mixer brush I'm just going to play around until we think that is okay just like this so here's before and after which is looking okay now i'm gonna click here on the burn tool and i'm gonna add some shadows 
into this part of the lips as they were in the original just like this so here's before and here's an after zoom in and as you can see we have this harsh line so i'm gonna click here on the blur tool and i'm just gonna paint it over there now check it before and after which is looking okay now zoom out and merge again into a single one so here's before and here is an after sorry here's before and here's an after so now that we are done with some basics of the retouch and makeup details and everything else usually i play and add some sharpen to this portrait to make it look even better i play some contrast and the face contour which is one of my favorite and check uh, the sharpen layer which is uh, into the layer mask and you can see anything so we have to switch it into the white so click ctrl and i and check it before and after and 100 of the sharpen is way too much so i'm gonna go by 45 now click on the contrast turn on and reduce it just a little maybe or the half now click on the face contour and for example if you want to make some changes on the highlights midtones and shadows you can just double click here and this one is for the highlights i'm gonna leave it as it was before this one is for the midtones as you can see when you play the portrait will become really good and this one is for the shadows so i'm going to leave it just at this and here we have a before and after i'm going to reduce it just a, a, a little maybe a half why not because this is what we do so here's before and here's an after so again merge them into a single layer and now that we are done with uh, everything else i'm going to play one of my favorite recently actions that is the elegance look which you can find it on the retouching kit too just play it and wait until it's done and as you can see it's nothing happening because uh, the layer mask is black so we have to we have to switch it into the white by ctrl and i so here we have the elegance look what you've done into this portrait but for my opinion i'm going to um, remove the effect from the uh, darker part so double click here and click here on the underlying layer and slide this into the right until you see that it's removing from the dark part just like this now hold alt keyboard to divide this and just slide this into the right now click ok so here's before and here's an after you can zoom in oops sorry here's before and here's an after and if you think that this one is uh, way too much you can always lower the opacity of this one maybe by 35 and check it before and after which is looking okay i'm gonna merge both of them into a single layer and now that i am done with the retouch i'm just going to play one or uh, maybe two of my favorite color grade actions so click here on the color grade light skin actions and check them one by one and check to see which one fits your style and i think that a7 is looking okay but i'm going to reduce it by 75 percent so here's before and here's an after so i'm gonna add two or more things just click here and click on the color balance click on the highlights i'm gonna uh, make the highlights more into the yellow and into the red tones just like this so check a before and after which is looking okay reduce this by 75 again click here on the color balance and for the midtones i'm gonna do the same thing just like this and reduce it so here's before and here's an after so one more thing here click on the selective color click on the yellows and play it with them because uh, sometimes we make some changes on the yellow color just like this so here's before and here's an after now click again into the selective color and choose the reds so we are going to make some changes on the lipstick color and the 
eyeshadow just like this so here's before and after which is affecting the entire portrait but uh, i think that's looking okay so i'm gonna go by 20 percent and one more thing that i add into the portraits is the black and white so switch the blending mode from normal to luminosity and just play with the reds yellows and everything that you want to so here's before and after which is looking okay reduce this again so i'm gonna click here again into the black and white help layer sorry black and white not black and white help layer switch the blending mode from normal to multiply and just reduce it by 10 maybe something like that now click selective color and click on the whites and just increase them to make them pop just like this so here's before and after so here's before and after so let's just merge the color grade by clicking merge layers and wait until it's done so here we have our before and here's an after retouch so here's before and after retouch here's before and after retouch with a color grade zoom in and as you can see the texture is looking really good so here's before and here's an after so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file we're touching actions and everything else that you saw in this video tutorial leave some comments down below let me know if i'm understandable or not let me know if you learned something from me or not and see you guys in the next one peace